Hi, thanks for tuning in. I had forgot, I've just forgotten to turn on the microphone in my interface, so now uh, I had a nice little introduction that that happened and now I've lost it, so I'm going to have to try again. Huh. So, in response to somebody, uh, Poison Pixie, she left a comment on our uh, Sunday Live, uh, don't you to me bro, Redux archive and said um, I would like to know how to make a green screen video and uh, this is actually um, what a number of people have, have asked and I'm just going to start the, uh, the screen recording software because you're just getting me through the webcam I'm using the webcam and I'm going to I'm using exactly the stuff that we used and see the the green screen is in, in, in active back here as well but I have a screen recording software on my uh on my computer and i'm going to record the computer screen and what i've done is i've i've uh added uh let me see maybe i should record that too so i'll just drag, drag my camera so you can see the because the before is sometimes pretty cool to see too so let's uh so there so now you can see a little bit of the before and i'll 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 add that in too oh the camera's the so there so recording a little bit. So now you can see the magenta and I'm going to key that out so that then you can just see the desktop and what I'm doing on the desktop um, afterwards. So that should be enough there. And turn that off for a sec. And um, what was I going to say now? Oh, rats. Oh, right. A little bit of history of, 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 of keying and green screening. Uh, historically, it was when it was, it was, I think, done for the movie thing, of course, like everything was. And when color television came in and keying, blue screening, it was actually called. They used a blue screen before. And when it came into television, uh, Interestingly enough, it was uh, the, the the weatherman because they, the the weatherman would or weather person now would stand in front of the uh, this giant map, but it was just a, a big blue screen. Uh, they'd had to tell the weathermen or weather people to not wear blue suits, but they loved their blue suits, so they would show up in a blue suit and there'd be problems. So rather than try and uh, you know corral or or herd the weather people to um, not wear blue. Uh, they decided to change the standard to green. So in television, it became green screening, and that sort of, sort of became popularized there. So, but in a, in fact, you can key with any solid color as long as it's the predominant color. Certain colors don't really work, like red, because it because there's the the element of red in people's skin. Um, other colors, I'm not really sure. But you want to try and get something as far away from the majority of what you see on the screen as possible to get a nice nice key so there we are right so now let me start this screen recording so then you'll be able to see what I'm doing as well and then you'll also see that reflected because uh, this is recording and what I'm doing here well let me see this is kind of cool I think I hope it's gonna be cool so there so now it's uh, starting and three two one boom there so now you're seeing seeing here, and this is this is a poison pixie's comment here. I thought I'd show you that. I would like to know how to make a green screen video, and the answer to that really is there's lots of different ways, and it depends it depends on the software that you have. And I'm going to show you another another little thing in a little bit, and I'll show you some of the other stuff too, and you'll be able to see this. So first, here this is the the this is OBS. Uh, uh, open broadcast software, I think. Uh, studio 20, this is the studio version because it's got the two windows, but you can change. Anyway, it's very, it's kind of, <laughs> kind of complicated. Uh, and I, I don't think I want to get too involved with that aspect of it. There's so many videos on OBS, it's not really funny. And um, actually it has like wizards and stuff now to, to help out of the box. And I'm, I I don't want to sound like I hope I don't sound condescending or patronizing or anything. It's not my intent at all. Like I mean, I barely can get by on this thing, and it's like I've been using it for a while, 
And there's a, let's see, if I click to the settings, there's all these settings. Um, like there's the general, there's the streaming settings, the output settings. And what I've generally found that works for me is to uh, Google what I, what I have. Because set the, some of the settings are different based on the equipment you have. Like I've got a pretty high-end computer. So that, uh, so I, you know, I say, well, what are the best settings for, for, for streaming with OBS or recording? And it works quite well as a local recording. I'm recording this locally instead of streaming. See, so it's got this stop recording thing here. Uh, right. So anyway, getting back to this, I just would like to show you the basics of how this works. So here's something called, they've called it Video Capture Device 2, and it's called Video Capture Device 2 because I screwed up Video Capture Device number one or, or whatever. So for whatever reason, it's just, that's the, the, the name it gives it, and I just never bothered to change it. So if we look here, Video Capture Device uh, 2, and we click on that, and then we go, this is the settings, properties, and nope, cancel this. But this shows you the properties there. So all the stuff that it does. And here is see the audio audio devices, the task cam, blah, blah, blah. All right, so cancel. That's not because I just did that wrong. So what we want to do is right click and go to filters. And you'll see here, the effects filter is the chroma key. Now, if I turn this off, you'll see what the, the background really looks like. So there it is. <laughs> the, 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 it's all revealed now. Dun, dun, uh. <laughs> yeah, so, so what you see there is the, the green paint that I have on the wall here. And over here, let me just move that around. See, there's the shells. And um, let me tilt that back a bit there. You can see this is like sort of fabric that I, I purchased some fabric in order to, uh, uh, it's about right there, right? You want to make it so there, a bit like that. So I bought some fabric because I wanted to make the whole thing. And it actually looks, and this here, <laughs> this is like green colored uh, <laughs> construction paper that was, that's, oh, excuse me, on the wall, all I, I taped up there because there's like a shadow spot where there's the shelf kind of kicks out. And so that's, that's it. And, and then, uh, how does the, and the way the, uh, um, the pictures work is there's another thing here called image slideshow. And if I go to that and properties, and it shows you here, this is the current one. And then it shows, you know, always play even when not visible, automatic. And I can change how, you know, the default time and the transition speed. And then here it shows you the directory where I have the images that it uses for that slideshow. So if I turn that, if I turn this back, oh, little, little, little. <laughs> right, video capture device there. If I go back to filters and turn that back on, boom, there it is again. So close. Okay, here we and are that's in it. Magic's Vegas Pro 14. This is the little scrubber. They call it a scrubber. Up in this corner here, you can see the, well, this, quadrant you can see the where I had filmed the, the desktop and I showed the magenta and uh, this track here at the bottom is the camera and then here this part is the actual screen recording with the magenta so I'm going to just key that out oh, so I've already keyed it out actually <laughs> let's let's let me do that again though I've, I've recorded this a couple of times because I'm not happy with the way it's turning out uh, as usual so I'll uh, just exit that and now this whole this whole thing is is oops let me just uh, there so normally to launch the keyer you there's like two spots there's one here it's, it looks like I don't know a little little green bar and two notches anyway they change some of these these things in different it looks more complicated than it than it is and forgive the noise I think the snow things are moving it's got awfully warm in this room so uh anyway uh so this is the chroma key i'll add that in okay and it defaults to blue as i was saying earlier and now they give you do give you this handy color picker and there and that's basically <laughs> that's basically it 
So one other little step is to turn on the mask, which which is the main thing from that you're you're masking out, which you want to show through. So we just dial that in until it's a nice solid white and add a bit from, so this is the high threshold and the low threshold. And the blur amount, that's usually what you do around the edges. It's more 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 important with uh, like sort of um, um, live subjects where a static thing, the blur, I don't know if it's really that critical. And you, I could put like 0.2, but then the mouse looks funny on it for some, you know, just anyway, I'm not going to bother with the blur for this in this case. And that's it. So if I scrub over that, oops, I forgot to turn the, <laughs> forgot to turn the mask off. So then you have to uncheck the mask and now that's it. And of course the magenta, this is not perfect. See the magenta sort of, sort of shows through the edges of the window. This is like arrow from Windows 7. Right, so that's it, pretty much. I think that's, I think I covered more or less most of the use cases. And um, I, what can I say? Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And if you found this video through search in some manner, uh, and don't have a YouTube account, I would urge you to to get one because it does offer certain advantages, not least of which is the fact that you can like or dislike a video and subscribe or not subscribe as you would, but uh, you can also create playlists, create your own content, and of course uh, become part of the community to make comments and such as we would like to have you make in this video. So again, thanks for watching. Bye for now.